What's up guys, and welcome here to something a little bit different. Um, I have been gone for a while, I know, but I'm on vacation. Uh, the microphone quality is probably not as good as you're used to because it's a laptop. And uh, yeah, so everything is might be a little slower because it's a laptop, but I really thought I would show this to you guys because I think it's really cool and I think it's something that we should all take a look at. This is called Space Engine, and it's a little bit similar to No Man's Sky. Um, however, it is the realistic version of No Man's Sky. So, by the way, guys, if you want me to play some No Man's Sky, I will be playing it. If you guys would like that, I will record some, and I will upload it to the YouTube channel. But, this is pretty cool already. So, let's take a look here. So, obviously, we know this place. It's Earth, and if you don't know it, then welcome, because you're clearly... Yeah, probably an alien. So, it obviously doesn't look like this, we know that, but... This is, you know, a procedurally generated universe, right? So they can't, you know, spend a lot of time on Earth when there's like a billion other planets out there and star systems and... But, you know, keep in mind that they don't... It's obviously all procedurally generated, so they don't... They're not making every single one of these planets. It's all generated through algorithms. So, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes, you know, in the night sky, I'll look up somewhere and, and you know, I'll, th I'll be thinking, you know, wow, look at this, you know. What is that? Where, where is it going? You know, what is this thing? And I would love to see what is in the sky. And you can do that in this game, with, which I think is just fascinating. Just like a little bit in No Man's Sky. So let's head over to that star over there. We can see the temperature and all this info over there. Let's over the, head over to that star and check it out. Sort of take a look. Because it looks very far away. So... Bear in mind, this is not the final version of the space engine, and I'm sure they will improve it by a lot as time goes on. So, whoa, 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 whoa. Look at all those weird, creepy, I mean, those things. Whoa, we actually got, whoa! Okay, so, this is the star, then, that we saw. And it does look like it's got a couple of planets, so chose a good one. So let's go to this planet. It's a warm ice giant, uh, which is sort of contradictory, but we'll... Oh, shoot. It's got moons. Oh my god. It's got a lot of moons. Wow. God, this... <laughs> that's the thing that's fiddly with this game. You go very quickly if, if you don't slow down at the right times. Okay, so, but yeah, this is the game. Uh, I'm just gonna try and get away from it here. Whoa. Whoa, we are upside down. Okay. Uh, yes, a warm ice giant. That's pretty cool. So this is what it looks like from space and it is clearly a giant planet uh, or a gas giant if you will so let's go in and as you know as I told you this is all procedurally generated so all of these clouds are being generated as we speak and sort of the movement of it and all that stuff I think it's just really really cool we can sort of go deeper into the planet if there is anything to explore, but clearly this is just whoa, really creepy. Uh, sometimes this stuff really creeps me out, though. I'm not gonna lie. So let's go to one of its moons here, because it looks pretty cool. Gotta slow down really quickly in this game. What is this? Oh, uh, it's more. looks more like an asteroid than a moon. So let's take a look here actually moving as we speak so it's pretty cool and yeah you can see all of these little holes and stuff they are actually there they are also visible from space and I think that's just fascinating I think that's great and obviously you know this is tiny compared to when you actually zoom out and go look at the Milky Way the Milky Way is pretty big, you know, I would say. And, whoa, whoa. It's got a lot, a lot of different things and a lot of different... And these, every single one of these points, by the way, is a star system like ours. So, I mean, that's just crazy to me, at least. And 
Like here too, it's just, it's a cluster. Whoa! It's a cluster of galaxies. I think that's fascinating. And, you know, those things are fascinating. By the way, if you guys want more of these videos, be sure to leave a like and a comment. But, you know, those things are fascinating. Sure, our, you know, Milky Way galaxy is a fascinating galaxy. But we're not the only galaxy. And now these are all galaxies. I mean, it just, that just blows my mind. And now I'm going to look up real quickly the Milky Way black hole because it is really, really cool how this game looks at black holes. So, Milky Way black hole. Right, and it is called Sagittarius A. So let's go and search it up here. So I obviously said search up Earth. It is S A G I T T A R. Oh, it's already found it. This is awesome, guys. So let's take a trip here. Oh, we gotta click on it. Let's take a trip here, all the way back to us. Our. And this is our galaxy, obviously. And this is what's in the middle of the Milky Way. Uh, hopefully, okay, good. This is what's in the middle of the Milky Way. I'm gonna keep it focused, so. All right in the center of us. We are somewhere here along the edges. Whoa! So this is, I mean, I, was, uh, I think this is fascinating. I think this is really, really cool. And the way that they made this and all procedural. So let's take a, look, a closer look because everyone wants to know what a black hole sort of looks like. And keep in mind, this is obviously not uh, gonna be 100% factual because we don't know what it looks like yet. But this is sort of uh, what we also saw in Interstellar, which it's bending space, space time. And if you get close to the horizon, you can see we're just looking at the entire universe <laughs> through a black hole. And I'm trying to go towards it, but it's deforming my view, so it pushes me away, sort of. It's, it's what it looks like. It looks like it's pushing me away, but it's not, obviously. It's just the black hole. And this is it. I think that's amazing. Truly fantastic. Look at that. How it bends space time. And, and again, those galaxies, they are all galaxies that you can go to, right? White main sequence star if you want. A yellow dwarf. Another white main sequence star. Yellow giant. Right there. Yellow giant, another one. All of these are all places you can go to and, you know, check out the planets there. And obviously this is actually also, if you speed it up, it it's turns and it moves and stuff. Everything moves in this galaxy. It is procedurally generated, fully simulated. So let's take a look at one more galaxy before we go. Let's go to a yellow giant there. Oh, I don't know what I clicked on, but it was very far away. Okay, there it is. So yeah, uh, guys, again, if you want to see more of this, leave a like. Uh, I'd be happy to go exploring some more uh, with you guys. Because I think this is absolutely amazing. Uh, but I'm sure I'm going to do a lot of exploring in No Man's Sky as well. Uh, that game looks really, really cool. There's three. What am I looking at here? Oh wow, this planet is really far away. Is that a planet? Where's the closer planet? Oh, there it is. That one. That is a cold ja gas and jazz. <laughs> a cold gas giant. Wow. And this would just be one of the many, well, I don't know if there's many planets orbiting the system, but it's one of the planets orbiting the system. That's 
That's just cool. That is just really, really cool. Is you know compared to its star, I can't even see its star anymore. There it is. It's tiny, you know. Got to slow down quickly here. Oh, oh. Make sure the game doesn't crash. Another giant. Oh my god, it's got a ring this time. Oh, shoot. I really got to slow down. That's amazing. I think that's fantastic. <laughs> but yeah, this is really cool, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you... Uh, I hope I see you guys more uh, in the coming days and weeks, and now we will be back the middle of August, late August. So, that's gonna be it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And, uh, see you. See you. Anyways, that was me, guys. Total buggy. Signing off for now, and I will see you guys.